Hey y'all, thanks so much for stopping back in on the basics of uh, digital multimeter series we're shooting here. And uh, I just wanted to uh, thank Ideal uh, Industries again and my good buddy Ron Kipper right here on YouTube for allowing us to utilize this PDF and uh, maybe help enlighten some of the new people coming up in the trade. So uh, let's get after it guys. Hey y'all, thank you so much for taking the time to come back and visit with us over on the basics of digital multimeters a guide to help you understand the basic features and functions of a digital multimeter. This is going to be part five. Let's go ahead and jump on in guys. Auto versus manual ranging. Techno. Manual ranging multimeters force us to think about the measurement before we select the range of the meter. As an example, if I want to measure 120 VAC on a manual ranging meter, I would turn the dial or switch to the VAC section and select the 200 V range. This gives you ample measurement range and the maximum resolution for the measurement. If the voltage is unknown, start with the maximum or highest range and step down to achieve the maximum resolution on the display. Note that OL or overload means that you need to select a higher range and this should not damage the meter. Tech note. Auto ranging multimeters. Only the measurement function needs to be selected. The multimeter circuitry will automatically select the best range for the measurement. There are two important things to remember about an auto ranging meter. One thing is that the timing for the meter to achieve and settle on a range can take a few seconds. The other is the symbols and numerical expression used on the display. If a user fails to pay close attention to what the display is telling them, an error can occur with the interpretation of the displayed value. As an example, 240 MV could be interpreted as 240 V. If the user doesn't pay close attention to the little M in the MV icon on the display. So we need to pay very, very close attention to this, guys. Understanding count, resolution, and accuracy. The count is the maximum number of digits that can be shown on the display. In most cases, this value is one less that the count of the display. For example, if you have a 2,000 count unit, the maximum reading per range is 1,999, or one less that of 2,000. To get a better understanding of resolution, let's take an example. If you are using a manual ranging unit that is set on 20V, and you're measuring an application that puts out more than 20 V. The display will read OL or overload. You must reset the dial to the higher range and take a new reading. The most refined reading therefore uses the range that provides the best resolution without overloading. Select the range just higher than the expected reading. And here we have range settings and maximum range and resolution. 2V, 1.99V. 20V, 19.99V. 200V, 199.9V. 1000V, 1000V. Meter accuracy. Most meters accuracies are expressed as plus or minus percentage of input plus a plus or minus number of counts, expressed as plus or minus. X percent plus number of counts. For example, the ideal 61-342 is a 4,000 count display with a basic DC voltage accuracy of plus or minus 0.5% plus 5. The plus 5 is called count or floor and refers to the least significant digit of the display in reference to range and resolution. If we want to determine the maximum error of the meter that is measuring a source of 12V, first determine the percentage error and add the count or floor. The percentage accuracy for 12V source would be 12 times 0.005 equals 0 
To determine the count, we must determine the meter's range and resolution. If the display is a 4000 count display, we need to determine the best range and resolution. For 12V, this would be the 40V range. The display maximum resolution is 39.99 and the least significant digit would be 0.01 with a total count of 0.05. The accuracy of the meter is plus or minus 0.06 plus 0.05 which is equal plus or minus 0.11. So the low limit is 11.89 and the high limit would be 12.11. Techno. Display counts and resolution. The display count is the maximum digital resolution of the multimeter. A 2000 count display has a maximum reading of 1999. One less than the display count. A 4,000 count display has a maximum rating of 3,999. These two displays are the most common. However, on the market today, there are 5,000, 20,000, and even 50,000 count displays that are available. The display count determines maximum range and resolution. The display count is important in determining the maximum resolution the number of digits after the decimal point of the reading. As an example, let's look at the difference when measuring a 240 volt supply with a 2000 count and a 4000 count multimeter and what range you would set the meter to. The 2000 count display would be in the 600 V range and display 280 volts. The maximum resolution is one volt. The 4000 count multimeter would be in the 400 V range and have a maximum resolution of 0.1 V. The unit would display the measurement as 280.0 volts. Let's take a peek below. Okay guys, let's take a real quick peek at our uh, 2,000 count unit and our 4,000 count unit. And over to the left you'll see the range, readings, and resolutions. And uh, we'll take a peek at uh, each uh, display we'll see here. Uh, the 2,000 count unit would need to be set on the 600 volt range to measure 280 V. On the 600 V range, the maximum resolution would be 1 volt. The 4000 count unit would be set on the 400V range to measure 280V and have a maximum resolution of 0.1V. In this case, the 4000 count unit would give you the best resolution. It is very, very important that we understand our numerical expressions to properly set up or read the display of a multimeter. In this example, we have an auto ranging meter measuring a 2,800,000 ohm resistor. The display reads 2.800 mega ohms. The capital M is the symbol for mega or 1 million ohms. Let's take a peek at numerical display notation. Here we have terms, numerical values, symbol, expression. Term, giga, numerical value, one billion, symbol, capital G, expression, times 10 to the ninth power. Term, mega, numerical value, one million, symbol, capital M, expression, times 10 to the sixth power. Term, Kilo, numerical value, 1,000. Symbol, capital K, expression, times 10 to the third power. Term, milla, numerical value, 0 .001. Symbol, lowercase m, expression, times 10 to the negative three power. Term, micro, numerical value, 0 .000001. Symbol, lowercase m, expression 
times 10 to the negative 6 power. Term, nano, numerical value, 0 0.00000000001. Symbol, lowercase n, expression, times 10 to the negative 9th power. Hey y'all, thank you so much for uh, coming over here and visiting with us on uh, Rochester's Heating and Air and, and, and checking out our little series of uh, videos we've been shooting here, the basics of digital multimeters that Ideal Industries and Ron Kepper was so kind to let us uh, utilize here. And uh, I just wanted to thank y'all so much. I know we've uh, probably the first three were kind of uh, slow, but uh, actually guys, I, I wanted to gear these towards the new tradesmen and tradeswomen coming up in the HVAC industry. and and give them just a, a, a brief little look at uh, basic electricity on the first three. Um, I reckon we're going to wrap up uh, part five and move on to part six, guys, and get more uh, into the nitty-gritty nuts and bolts part of the multimeter here. But uh, anyway, guys, while I've got you, I just wanted to thank my loyal friends and subscribers. This is for you. Um, out of the kindness of Ron Kipper's heart, um, he's got a wonderful, wonderful surprise for uh, my friends and subscribers. So, uh, to no further ado, guys, check us out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on part six. Take care. Bye.